Welcome to the Lee Library. My name is Mary Philpot, and I'm here with Sharon Sider, whose work is on exhibit at our library for the month of June. And Sharon has the distinction of being the first to have an exhibit after our pandemic. And before we go through and look at Sharon's work, I want to talk a little bit to Sharon about how she got started in photography and a little bit more about what she does. So Sharon, thank you for sharing your work with us. And let's hear about your, how you got started in photography. All right, thank you, Mary. Uh, so my interest in photography started about 25 years ago and just basically saw you know, some photography workshops listed and at that time got into, started out with film and uh, over the years moved on to through digital and my interest um, you know, turned into a hobby and all that. And then we have, I got into birding about five or six years ago. And since then, I've just been, you know, whenever I'm out, out and about, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, in my backyard or on a trailer or whenever I see or add, can get a, you know, photo of a bird that's, mm -hmm. you know. Now, did you, have you taken courses? Um, I've taken a lot of photography courses mm -hmm. as far as, you know, and then now I'm just incorporating the, the birding into, into my photography mm -hmm. as well. So the birding also provides you with a great resource as well? The, it does. The photography and, the ident photography yes. and identification for birding. Mm -hmm. yes. And Sharon has exhibited her work here before. It was a couple years ago before the pandemic and it was on nature photography, correct? Yes, it was. And there have been also um, pieces exhibited in Creative Lee, which is the annual art show at the Lee Library. And Sharon has had flowers and birds, I believe, and other other places with nature for, um, yep. in the photographs. Published, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have published. Yeah. And you're going to show us one of the one of the pieces later, one or more of the pieces later on as we go along. Yes, as we go through the exhibit. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll right. start. Thank you. All right. So now we'll start with our first piece. Go ahead. So our first photo today uh, is a collage of cardinals. Uh, on the bottom we have the um, bright red male cardinal uh, and then on the top uh, the female cardinal uh, and then the cardinal egg uh, and then down here we have the um, my photo that was actually chosen uh, for this year's uh, quality printing calendar and it will appear for the month of December. That's great. The male's f picture is just fabulous. Thank you. So we'll move on to the next one. So here we have the black capped chickadee uh, sitting on a fence uh, with the sun shining on it. And are your photos taken mostly around here? Are they taken elsewhere or? Uh, most of them are taken uh, in either in my backyard or here in the Berkshires. There are a few, I think there's a few that were, were taken um, elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, when yes, they are in my backyard, and, and uh, as I'm out and about on our local and trip. do you have a favorite bird also that you? I do actually. The cardinal is one of my favorites, and we also have over there on the other wall, which we'll get to mm -hmm. shortly, is the cedar waxwing. Oh well, wow. I love yes. cedar waxwing. Such an interesting bird. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, our next one. So here, we have. The red-bellied woodpecker. And, and in the snow is this? It is. That one is in the snow hanging on, on a branch. Mm -hmm. Yes. And did this take a lot of time to uh, wait for him or was this one easily? Uh, no, I did have to wait. A lot of the, I, with bird photography, it's, you got to have a lot of patience mm -hmm. really to, to wait. And, and um, you know, they aren't going to stay around very long on that, on that branch. So. You have to kind of get the picture when you can, so. Do you have a bird that you're looking for now that you would like to take a picture of? Uh, I have, I can't think of any right now. I mean, just as, as they come and you mm -hmm. know, some of them, as we'll see um, in, as we go around the room, uh, there are some that I didn't actually know what the bird was mm -hmm. at the time. And by taking the photo and then using some of the resources um, which I'll explain, um, I was able to identify the bird. Mm -hmm. 
great. So that's always fun. Mm -hmm. A surprise sometimes. It is a surprise, yes, yes. So here we have a red. This is the house red. Mm -hmm. But it's really beautiful, and the way the light is hitting it and hitting the branch is really a very beautiful picture. And it's, that's a small bird that likes to sing. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they sing quite a lot, so yes. Great. I, I, can, I can usually tell where, what area the wrens are in because of their, their singing, and, mm -hmm. and so yes. Mm -hmm. They're hard, hard to see sometimes, but you can hear them singing. Where so, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And here we have another wren. This is the Carolina wren. Mm -hmm. And this bird actually landed on my deck railing. Wow. And that photo was taken through the window. Wow, that's a great uh, photo. So it sat there quite a while on my deck railing. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to open the window because I, w I didn't want to scare the bird away. So I got it, I took the photo through the, through the window and it was there. Hmm. So, yeah. And does it sit a long time? Or is uh, it the, usually... the wrens will. The wrens they, will. They, mm -hmm. they seem to um, sit quite a while on theirs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So here we have the red winged blackbirds. Uh, on the top, we have the male red winged blackbird. Mm -hmm. And on the bottom is the female. And when I photographed this photo of the female, at the time I did not know what bird it was. Hmm. And so I went through some of my field guides mm -hmm. and some uh, other resources to try to identify what it was. That at the time, it's very interesting to, to go through and, you know, using, mm -hmm. at least I have the photograph too. Right, and, and, and you can enlarge it, and yes. so it's, yeah. it's really much easier to see. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's great. So over here, okay. we have a collage with the Eastern Bluebird, and this is three photos of a bluebird, and it's carrying pine needles into the box to make a nest. Mm -hmm. So is this in your yard or somebody else's yard? It is in, it, it is in my yard, yes. Mm. Wow, you're and very lucky. So that again was um, taken, you know, just in a sequence and just watching them go back and forth and gather their pine needles and come back and hmm. into the nest. So how many how many photos did you have by the time you selected these three? Uh, quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it they are very, it's very fun. Amusing. They are yeah, very yeah, fun to watch yeah, so too. Fun to watch mm -hmm. as they do that. And do you yeah. get more than one nest during the year, or just one per year? Um, with these, usually one. Hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, our next bird. Yeah. Again, we have the eastern bluebird. Uh, this is the, the um, just sitting on a, a branch. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful bird, though. Yes. Absolutely stunning. Probably watching over the others making their making their nests. Yes, probably guarding <laughs> so yes. that nobody gets guarding them. Guarding it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Well, that's great. Okay, and our next one. So here we have our robin uh, mm -hmm. collage here at the bottom, and then up at the top we have the nest with the eggs. And over there we have the baby robin mm -hmm. in the nest with a few other eggs in there. Ready to hatch? Ready to hatch. And yes. on, this, um, on this baby, did you have to wait a long time to get it just so you could get it with its beak open? I actually took quite a few photos, mm -hmm. so I just kept clicking, and then eventually you get it when it has its beak open. So That's great. That's a wonderful collage. Again, it takes a lot of patience to, you know, watch and, and many times you're just taking lots of photos and. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our next one. So here we have the song sparrow. Usually this you don't see this, um, a, this bird so close and see such detail. So this is really it's yeah. really a surprise to see all the coloring and the markings on this bird, which you don't usually see. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the difference, because here we have a couple others, mm -hmm. uh, sparrows, sparrows. Mm -hmm. and, and the difference, because here we have the white-throated sparrow, and that, again, with the, you know, totally different mm -hmm. um, as the, far as the markings mm -hmm. on that, with the yellow on it and the, and the white throat and, you know, the gray on the front. So mm -hmm. a lot, you know, in this species, there's quite a few. 
quite yeah. a few. There's a lot of and a lot of variation yeah, a lot of in the variation. species. Yes. Mm -hmm. And here another sparrow to add to the collection. We do. We have the fox sparrow here. Mm -hmm. And again, very, very prominent markings mm -hmm. and dark coloring. And are the sparrows all known for singing, or I, can you identify different sound? Any um, of the different ones? Not as much as the singing. Some mm -hmm. of the birds I can identify by singing. Not, mm -hmm. not a lot of them. Hmm. Right now, for me, it's more I can identify them by the markings. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so here we have a collage with some hawks. On this side, we have the red-tailed hawk. Mm -hmm. Again, this was the hawks were sitting on the uh, the branch. Each one of these was sitting on the branch for a long time. They do. I do. Yes, I got a lot of photos. Uh, and then this one seemed to be kind of looking down at mm -hmm. me. <laughs> They're great hunters, so they yes. they sit and wait, wait till the moment is exactly right, and then so you they're easily photographed. So this is, and these are wonderful photographs. Thank you. Showing their great detail. And there's the broadwing hawk. Mm -hmm. That one again, sitting there quite a while. So, mm -hmm. yes. so here's one of my favorite photos okay. here: the scarlet tanager. So interesting story behind these two photos here. So again, this was taken in my yard. And at the time, I, I was indoors. I saw out the window mm -hmm. a red bird in this bush with the white blossoms. And at first, I thought it was a cardinal. But then I realized it had the red wings mm -hmm. on it, or, or I'm sorry, the black wings on mm -hmm. it. And then I realized it's not a cardinal. So I grabbed my camera. I went outside. and the bird was just flying all over that bush and I kind of just followed it around mm -hmm. the bush. It was inside the bush and then out came to the outer edge and I took a lot of photos of this but I was so excited because I got a photo of a scarlet tanager. It's a great photo. This was several years ago that I got the photo and mm -hmm. I have not seen that bird in my yard since. I've never seen a scarlet tanager. I was so excited yeah. to get this photo and again that's the same same day. Mm -hmm. was, and what what bush is it sitting in? It's I believe that's a type of apple blossom. Oh. Mm. Great. Well, those are beautiful. They're just absolutely beautiful. Okay. Well, we have a special photo here and yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll trade out. Okay. So you can show that. So this photo here of the cedar waxwing catching a berry. Uh, again, um, this I spotted several cedar waxwings. Uh, in a bush, which they are usually in groups. And I just kept taking photos and I watched them as they went around. And I was lucky enough to get this photo of the, the mm -hmm. bird catching the berry. And I submitted that to Birds in Bloom. And Birds in Blooms um, published the photo in their October, November issue. Uh, and this was a uh, couple of years ago that they published it, so mm -hmm. got it in there, and this was the 2016 issue. Mm -hmm. It was actually pretty exciting because the day that you got notified or the day the issue came in was the day you were here and the bird was, it, the picture was on exhibit. It was on exhibit. When and I so out. that was great. It was, yes. It was great timing and very exciting that you could celebrate yeah. by having this in the publication. Yes. And you do have, and you have. We this, have birds. Oh, that's you right. You have the magazine. Yes, here? we have yes. the. Uh, we have Birds and Blooms magazine, um, at the library. So, please come in and use it. Yeah. So here we have a collage of uh, cedar waxwing photos. Uh, the top one, the cedar waxwing, uh, has a berry uh, in its beak, and then we have the others where they're sitting on the branch. That one's, you know. He's waiting, I think, for the for the berry. Mm -hmm. They can really clean out a whole bush yes. all in one one group, yes. coming and descending on the bush, and then wiping it free of all berries. So, yeah. but they're amazing to watch, and they feed each other. Yes, and they're fun. Yeah, they are fun. Mm -hmm. yes. They're great fun to watch. Yes. So another one of my favorite my favorite birds. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So our next here, one. Here we have a purple finch. Mm -hmm. uh, this was taken in my backyard. 
and that bird did sit for a little while and allowed me to get you know several pictures so that was fun it's a wonderful study of all the variation the coloring the markings this is uh, really very fun to see and and it's interesting because I do try, if I can, obviously mm -hmm. not all birds are going to sit long enough for photos, but if I can, I try to get as many of the photos of, you know, the front of the bird, the mm -hmm. side of the bird, if, you know, and then it, it's good for if I do need to identify mm -hmm. or, you know, to have that and to see the, the markings and the colors. Mm -hmm. so. That's great. So here we have our tree swallows on a bird box, another bird box in my yard. Mm -hmm. These are such an interesting bird to watch because they are flying in and out all day, feeding their young. And they are so beautiful when the sun hits that, especially the it's iridescent blue and black on them. Mm -hmm. And so they are, this is a wonderful picture. Thank you. This is a great picture. I love seeing these birds. These birds have occupied my um, bluebird house. They but, will. Yes, and yes. but they're very welcome. So I'm yes. happy to see. It's happened to, to, mm -hmm. to me as well. It's you know they do occupy others, and I will point out as we get to over um, when mm -hmm. we go through some of the feathers and things later that I've um, collected and I will show. Um, I noticed in the boxes uh, they use feathers from other birds to line their nests. Oh, it was very hmm. interesting hmm. to see um, other. Feathers. So, hmm. yeah. so okay. here, here we have a European starling. Mm -hmm. With wonderful markings on this yeah. one as well. Very detailed markings. And again, that one's in the winter. You can see a little mm -hmm. bit of snow there. So. Hmm. Sitting on a post in my backyard. <laughs> That's great. And again, they're usually around in, in flocks. Mm -hmm. You'll see multiple. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So here we have the goldfinch, and this, I have, this actually is a birdseed wreath that I have hanging up in my backyard. And the goldfinch came and landed on the backside of that wreath. Mm -hmm. And so I took this photo from my window, looking out mm -hmm. with my zoom lens, and I actually zoomed in on the wreath, so mm -hmm. now it's framing the bird. Well, that's great. <laughs> This bird must have been in his glory in this, yes. enjoying this, this, the seed, this, the seed yes, wreath. the seed yes. wreath. That's a wonderful picture. Yes. Goldfinches are so fun to watch also, and so beautiful when they, when the male comes along and yes. just gorgeous birds. And this was taken um, toward, the, in the winter time, so mm -hmm. it doesn't have its bright coloring right. as it will now. Right, however. right, mm -hmm. but this is a great picture. I love that picture. Mm-hmm. And so here we have the rose-breasted grosbeak. And this I hadn't really seen in my yard before until it you know, landed. This was taken, I believe it was last year. And I just said, oh my goodness. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a different bird, so, but I was able to, you know, mm, get a, that's great. a good, good enough uh, picture. It was quite a ways up in the trees. So. Mm -hmm. Other grosbeaks have used to come around and they no longer come around. So maybe we're getting grosbeaks back again too. So, because the evening grosbeak would come around and then stay like one day in the winter and then one or two days and then be gone. But we haven't seen that one in many, many years already. So that's, so hopefully they're coming back. Yes, hopefully. And so here we have our mallard ducks enjoying some time on, mm -hmm. on the water. We have the beautiful, beautiful coloring as well, especially when the sun hits the uh, neck and head and you see the iridescent feathers also. Beautiful, beautiful coloring. And where was this taken? Uh, this was along the Housatonic River. Mm -hmm. That's okay. great. So these feathers here are wood duck feathers and these feathers were used uh, as a lining for the nest uh, in the bird box uh, that our tree swallows were in. There were several other uh, types of feathers in that uh, nest. And we have others. These are some other feathers that I've collected here. We have a turkey feather and the 
blue jay feathers. And then we have others, and we have some of our resource books. We have bird, bird feathers. Um, a lot of interesting information for um, identifying. And we have other resource books here um, as far as guides, which I've, a lot of times I've referred to these when looking up, uh, trying to find details for the birds. What kind of a camera do you use for taking pictures of your of the birds? So the camera that I uh, used for, for my bird photography, uh, I have the uh, Canon Rebel T1i uh, with the zoom lens, 75 to 300 zoom lens. And all of my photos today in the exhibit were, were taken with mm -hmm. this camera. So thank you, Sharon, for taking us on a tour of your work. Yeah. It's beautiful images. And we look forward to seeing much more of your work in the future. Okay. Yes. That's great. Yes. And thank you. That's always, I always enjoy doing my exhibits here at Lee Libraries. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you.